Hey Scorpio, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your end of the year reading the whole month of December. How are we going to leave this year behind us and head into the new one? For those of you that are interested, we have some mind-blowing whole year readings for next year. Um, the whole year, month by month, I did readings that are um, about 45 minutes to an hour long, big readings for the entire year next year, uh, month by month, and a little synopsis of each month on how the year is going to turn out on the track we're on right now. Um, so those readings will be coming out very soon. I'll make a channel announcement when they're all complete. They will be um, on Patreon for a small fee. So you can click on the link here and pay through Patreon. I think Patreon takes any form of payment. Um, it's very simple, very easy. And you will be able to purchase the right to watch that those videos. Um, so for whichever one you want, it'll be a very small fee. And it's just so I could raise some money for the channel. All right, guys, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about December 2021? This cross came out. So far, every single sign has had a new cycle card right there. You're the first one that didn't have a new cycle coming in. Um, now, listen, it's the first of the year. It is a new cycle. It's the, This is the end of the old year, saying goodbye to the old year. So we're all going into some sort of new cycle at the new year. We might have other things in our life that are still open and cycling in other ways that haven't closed out yet. But the new year is a new cycle for every single one of us. So it's really exciting, right? So no matter what, we have an opportunity for a clean slate in one area of our life. Maybe all areas if we really want to, right? All right, let's get into it. What else do we need to know here? Scorpio reading. Sudden wealth. What else do we need to know here for Scorpio? Scorpio reading. What's important for anyone with Scorpio placements? Family room. What else? Anyone with Scorpio placements or anyone else who's guided? The child. Okay, what else? Scorpio reading. What else? Okay. Poverty. What else? That has to do with the center of your reading. False person. What else? Scorpio reading. What else? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Wealthy man, what else? You got false person, wealthy man. Oh, that's way too many. Just one or two cards. Scorpio reading for December 2021. For anyone who's guided to see it, whenever they're guided to see it, what do we need to know here, please? Okay. Divine timing. Uh, we got the clock and we've got the marriage. All right, so let's just take a peek here. So wow this is interesting so when i see the cross it has multiple meanings i feel like um wow all right so there could be a legal decision being made after we look into something somebody could be making a decision about um something that's been really heavy when i see the cross and i see despair I feel in the courthouse, this could be a really heavy situation you've been going through and a decision needs to be made with the two of two doors here. But the truth is it could be not your decision. It could be the court's decision or it could be your decision depending right on the situation. But it's been heavy. Okay, we know it because the despair cards there and the cross can be some heavy energy as well. It could um, have to do with a lot of money. It could have to do with a family situation. It could have to do with kids or a new beginning in some, some way. It could have to do with poverty. It could have to do with a false person, right? And this false person could be feminine or masculine. See, there's a masculine back there too. Or it could be two of them working together, right? Um, could be more than two. Could be anybody. We also have here the wealthy man, we have the clock, and we have marriage. So I feel as though there's something that has to do with divine timing here. 
um, there could be a new beginning coming in. When I see the poverty card, it's at the center of the reading. So it has to do with the entire reading. So something's been very heavy. This is like five of pentacles energy, right? Well, of course it's been heavy. We've got false person on the other side of it. We've got the heavy energy of the cross. We also had some kind of despair back here and something getting looked into to make some kind of decision. Let's start clarifying. Oh, I'm so sorry. This was the Gilded Revelry Lenormand and Kipper deck blended together. One big hybrid deck that I like to use. Um, also, we are going to be clarifying with Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Let's get into it. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the high good for this Scorpio reading? What are the messages? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? What's important here? Scorpio reading is for anyone with Scorpio placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the Scorpio reading whenever they're guided to watch it. We're gearing it towards the end of the year, the entire month of December 2021, but it could resonate at another time. Whenever your time is you were supposed to see it, you'll see it, right? What do we need to know? Please send through the most important messages for the people who need them the most. Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to deliver the most accurate messages possible to the people who need them. All right, I need one more shuffle. What else do we need to know? All right, let's start with that cross. First card out. What do we need to know about the cross? Sometimes the cross can mean that the divine is at play here, that something divine is happening, you know, and we do have the, the clock as well. This could be something happening in divine timing. But for the most part, the cross is usually um, a heavy energy or something that you've been had, like your cross to bear, right? Um, the high priest came out in reverse. Like, that's like the hierophant in reverse. So yeah, you could have been dealing with uh, red tape, Honestly, first thing I thought of was red tape when that came out. And it could have to do with money. Tell me about sudden wealth. What do we need to know? Sudden wealth. Yeah, two uh, chalices in the reverse. So see how they're like pledging their trough to each other, but it's reversed. So you could have had a problem with um, partnership and money. Um, there could have been a third party interference here with the three of chalices or there could have been other people that got involved or gossipers liars three chalices reverse isn't the best tell me about the family room what do we need to know about the family room you could have been dealing with toxic family members or you could be a family dealing with toxic people tell me about the family room what do we need to know this could be a family matter okay well look at that a lot fill out the star came out reversed the nine of swords came out re reversed this is stress and de depression this to me is depression right there and it could have to do with the six of chalices it could have to do with the past it could have to do with your kids it could have to do with your partner's kids could have anything this could have been problems you've had with family members these could be in-laws yep ten of pentacles in the reverse as well all right let's look at the child what do we need to know about the child scorpio reading child Well, 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 nine of pentacles and justice. So if someone was doing something shady with money, see how she's like, Shh, and she's got money hidden behind her back. There's some kind of balance going to come into this situation. Um, I feel like it's going to lead to all new, like a new beginning. Uh, the child card usually has to do with new energy. Uh, so this could be a situation where... Um, there's new energy coming into a situation where there was uh, something toxic going on before. Let's look at poverty. I feel like there was red tape because I almost feel like it had to do with someone um, like family members or gossipy people or something. Tell me about the poverty card. What do we need to know? Poverty. What about poverty? Is there anything important we need to know about it? You know, the poverty card sits right there in the center having to do with the whole reading. This just pops out the chariot, beautiful, and the two of swords. So someone's needing to make a decision to move forward, make a de decision to do something here. Um, you know, this is like I said, the, the 
five of pentacles energy of feeling left out in the cold feeling lost lonely feeling like you're on your own and needing to make decisions based off your intuition because see she's blindfolded so somebody left her out of the information whether it's male female doesn't matter um could be a cancer could be you could be you could have cancer in your chart somewhere um someone kept someone out of the loop and they've been left out in the cold and they're needing to make um decisions based off their intuition tell me about the false person here now the false person like i said could be male could be female or it could be more than one tell me about the false person what do we need to know scorpio reading hmm well 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 look at that so we've got the king of wands and we have the page of chalices reversed so could the king of wands be you sure and um, we have the page of chalices reversed with it but could the king of wands be someone who is um who's offering disingenuous offers um being very false could be so i feel like somebody's been false with you whether you are the king of wands or you're dealing with the king of wands um, this person could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a uh, Pisces. I'm sorry. Ugh, I thought this was a different card. Okay, so we've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we've got Pisces coming through strong for the disingenuous person. Cancer looks good. Libra looks good. Um, mm, so, well, it doesn't matter. This person could be Leo. They could be Aries. They could be Sag. They could be Pisces. It doesn't matter. It could be two of them. could be more than one. Um, no matter what this is, this also could be your energy dealing with someone else who was disingenuous to you that may well be a, a Pisces. doesn't have to be, right? That's just they're coming through in that energy. But there's something here about, and if that's the case... I feel like you, the chariot is such a positive card. I feel like this could be your energy or you're dealing with a partner who could be a cancer who is positive, not the one who's disingenuous. Okay, let's keep going here. What about the wealthy man? This is Scorpio reading. What about the wealthy man? Scorpio reading. Yeah, there we go. The Empress. Okay, so the Empress comes out for the wealthy man. So this is an Emperor or an Empress. So this is a wealthy person, let's say. All right, let's go. Uh, what about them? What do we need to know about Empress, wealthy man? Empress, wealthy person. What do we need to know? What's important? This could be a boss. This could be a mother. This could be anyone in your life. Judgment and the devil. Wow. This feels to me like... Um, some kind of a release from a, a um, toxic financial obligation. And remember, some kind of justice is coming in. And we do have that coin back there kind of hidden with someone going like, don't tell anybody. So it's very possible that there was something toxic going on around a money situation. Could have been a family situation because the family card is here. Tell me about, um, tell me about the cuckoo clock what do we need to know about the clock just one or two the clock oh that's way too many this three of swords keeps ending up on top of the clumps of cards that keep coming out but it is reversed tell me about the clock what is it that's important that we need to know scorpio reading why is the clock involved Wow, this le these um, strength cards been coming out everywhere. The strength to move forward. We have the strength card and we have the eight of wands reversed. So in divine timing, we're going to move forward, which was what this was all about. Like making up our mind to move forward after feeling, you know, so devastated. Strength to move forward forward all in divine timing so whatever yeah and devil energy is also stuck energy as well so here it, it comes down to this somebody could have been very stuck in a very heavy energy they could have been stuck in i feel a karmic commitment when i see the cross here and the hierophant reversed and i see some of these other cards like the devil and the false person and this that it feels very karmic to me and you're the second reading that had a very karmic -y feel to it and i don't remember which one the other one was let's look at the marriage here marriage card 
this is any kind of commitment. It doesn't mean you're married. I mean, does it could mean you're married. It all could also be a business commitment, anything. Tell me about the marriage card. I definitely feel like you're dealing with a cancer, though. These both, even though this is a Libra card, look at the black and the white, just like the, the chariot. And they're right next to each other. Cancer, Libra. Someone with strong cancer or Libra. Tell me, or, or you have it, right? Or this is your energy. Tell me about marriage here. What do we need to know? This is some kind of commitment to each other, whether it's business, whether it's you know whatever it is friendship i don't know love for sure could be love tell me about marriage here what do we need to know about this commitment that's coming through what do we need to know about it the moon reversed and the king of chalices reversed and something's coming to an end here with the world which we already knew right uh wow oh my goodness but it's been a long time coming all right, we've got the Seven of Pentacles showing it's been a long time coming. Ten of Swords and the world. Something that included betrayal is, whoa, I didn't even see this hidden back there. Five of Wands, there could have been a group of people involved. There could have been um, problems with toxic people. Whatever this is, it's been a long time coming that we close it out and that we say goodbye to this past. Uh, this is there, It doesn't get any more done than the Ten of Swords and the world. And the five only shows that commit, uh, the change is coming in and it's been a long time coming with the Seven of Pentacles. So whatever change is coming in here is good. It's a good thing. It's, it's well overdue and we needed the change and it brings something toxic to closure. Okay, so when we come into the reading, this could have been a very toxic, like very karmic. When I see this cross with this high priest reverse, this feels very spiritual and very difficult, heavy as well. Also because, you know, the devil's here and the, the page of chalices with the false person here makes me feel like you've really been dealing with someone karmic. This could have been some kind of a partnership or something. Now, I do see the sudden wealth here. I feel as though it's just here to tell us that there's money involved. Because we also have this going on where there's new energy coming into a situation. Because justice is going to come into a situation where there's money. Something was going down in the money department. Um, I feel as though there's been disappointment. There's been a lot of stress. It has to do with the past. Could have been family members. Could have been anyone, right? Um poverty feeling left out in the cold needing to make decisions and you are you're going to use your intuition to move forward and if it's not you it's a cancer or uh like i said libra is right here too aries leo sag is right here um that so this if this is a sag energy it could be your energy as a scorpio coming through um because they're sister signs to each other but we have this disingenuous energy around you or it is them that's disingenuous the aries leo or sag or pisces right all right so we have here the emperor and empress we have judgment and the devil so this really could be you and a another person this could be the two of you just being karmic to each other like this was a karmic cycle um you know that you had to go through judgment devil you had to complete the cycle this the high priest reversed and the cross this is all karma to me there's so much karma in this reading so I feel as though, yeah, this really was something that had to run its course. It was all about divine timing and you couldn't leave it behind. You couldn't aid of wands, couldn't take off and go until it was the right time. This could have been a Leo you were stuck in this with. Um, you could be a Leo, you know, have it in your chart heavily. Like I said, it could be Sagittarius coming through or Aries. There's all kinds of signs. There's a lot of Libra in this um, reading. There's Pisces, there's Cancer, there's Taurus. There's a lot coming through. There's Gemini, there's Scorpio. I, I, there's everybody's here. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um and it had something to do with some kind of, um, I feel as though, again, we have the false person with the page of uh, chalices reversed with the false person. And then over here, we have the moon reversed with the king of chalices reversed. Again, I feel more 
uh, some kind of toxic energy around this person. This person is a partner to you, though. I want to look at the um, Two of Chalices with the uh, Sudden Wealth. Tell me about the Two of Chalices reversed and Sudden Wealth. What do I need to know about it? Scorpio reading. No, that's way too many. The Two of Chalices reversed with the Sudden Wealth. Scorpio reading for December 2021. What is this about? Why Sudden Wealth? Why Two of Chalices reversed? I almost feel like it's just telling us that we're dealing with a lot of money. Tell me more. What about this partnership and Sudden Wealth? What do we need to know about it? Scorpio reading. Yep. Seven of Pentacles and Five of Wands. So this could have been a long time disagreement between you and a partner or you and family members about money. But it's coming to an end. This is coming to closure. It's been very difficult. It's been very karmic. You could have been fighting with uh, family members over money. That's what this really feels like. And if they're not family members, they sure as heck feel like family members or in-laws or something. But you guys, can you please chime in down below and let me know? Um, just let me know if you know what this is, or if you can say, I don't know if you can say, cause for some of you, this is a legal thing and you might not want to say, but it could be something that's already a done deal. Uh, because like I said, whoa, look at that. They popped right out. Um, forgiveness. Well, okay. So forgiveness came out and delight. All right. So forgiven the past, whatever. I mean, I know people don't like to hear it. Don't kill the messenger. They're just the cards that came out. I didn't make it up. Okay. So don't kill the messenger. If you don't want to forgive the past, that's your, that's your deal, right? Um, again, another very spiritual card. These are the same energy as this, the power card. That's the Hierophant right there holding the cross, just like this, right? This was definitely karmic. Uh, which is why spirit is saying, hey, if you can kind of forgive whatever unhappiness happened in the past, a lot of this might just be old energy that you're hanging on to. And that's why spirit wants you to release it because the release card was in my hand a second ago. Where did it go? It was right here in my hand and it fell out and maybe it was supposed to come out. I don't even know where it went now, but it said release on it and it was right in my hand. And then um, I dropped it back in the bowl. But anyway, so maybe that's what this is all about. You releasing some old energy. If you want to chime in down below and let me know if you know what it is. Okay, guys. And no, you don't have to forgive anyone if you don't want to. Okay. That's up to you. Um, their spirit's just saying it will help you just feel happier. Totally up to you. Um, it's always up to you and it should be up to you. Your karma and your, the way you handle karmic cycle is up to you it's all about your learning experience and it's all about your growth and it's all about who you are as a person and you forgiving or not forgiving is part of the journey it's part of the lesson and it's part of what comes at you whether you do or don't and how you get through the cycle what you carry over with you and what you release and that part has got to be up to you okay Spirit can only suggest it. We can get the cards that come out, but no one can make you do it. That's that's all you, okay? All right, guys, I hope that you totally enjoyed this reading. At least it would give you some kind of information if this was your reading. You do have an opportunity to release that past and move forward and to make you know, more balanced moves and to get away from old karmic energy. I feel like you definitely have an opportunity to rise from the ashes and dump the old toxic uh, devil energy. Not that you're, it's not, it's just a stuck energy. It's a very karmic, very, very karmic energy. Anyway, guys, let me know if you would like to chime in down below and let me know if this, you feel like this was your karmic um cycle or if you are releasing an old karmic cycle or if this at all explains what you've been going through a little bit maybe it can help you um, understand what you've been going through hanging on to a long karmic cycle that's long overdue to release all right guys i hope you have a great holiday if you are celebrating any of the holidays happy kwanzaa help happy um, hanukkah merry christmas all these beautiful celebrations and of course for all of us happy new year guys keep an eye out for those new year readings if you'd like to watch them they are big readings they are a month a month reading for the entire year next year all right guys i will talk to you soon have a good one bye